We're gonna go to Menards, buy some parts, hopefully put this shit together in like an hour. <laughs> How's it going everyone? Frontier Center here and welcome back. Uh, today is going to be a little different. I need to design some stands for the silhouette targets. Last year I used like just shepherd's hooks, which worked okay, um, but they got shot to shit. Look at that, Shern. <laughs> somebody, somebody did that. It'll look like this. And the plate will be here. So that's going to hold that. And then the whole... So I was thinking I'd do another setup here with another nut, washer, and then a chain. Like, you know, these things. <laughs> this is looking like anal beads now um, and a chain and then another washer and then not also needs to kind of be portable So I was thinking just like a pipe like a like a like a fence pipe So the chain let's say will just be resting in a cross right like a like a divot cut out on the pipe Even if it's something like this the pipe can just the the chain can just go into this And I really wanted to be like collapsible the pipe could be like two pipes like there's one pipe here Right, and there's another pipe on the bottom It's like a little thicker that telescopes into this one And then I figured we can have like holes and different holes in here with like a pin that drives through that goes through that You can like adjust the height. Okay. This is looking like kind of shit right now, but just just bear with me here so I've seen people do like an H design some shit like that I want to make like a base that like extends out so it's like there's one, there's two, and then there's one in the back too. It splays out, but it can collapse on its own too. <sighs> I don't know how I'm gonna do this. This is the part that I don't know how to fucking do. The people that are probably like engineers and shit like that are like, what are you doing? This is super dumb and over like engineered and isn't gonna work. And that's probably true. <laughs> Eggs are chained up somehow and they can fold in and they can fold out. You know, like they're just like a triple. Because in the end, this whole thing is like this one big tube that I can just like put away. Or I could just like, it could be like a big X at the bottom and this thing could go into like a pipe holder thing. I don't know if I have to fabricate this. And I know everybody likes the 2x4 thing. That seems pretty economical. And it's probably the easiest way to do it. Um, so it depends if they have any of this at Menards is what I'm saying. If I can find any of this at Menards, that'd be great. But if not, then we're going to have to make some bullshit. Wow, this is, this is great. Look at this. Look at this engineering shit. I am so proud of myself. Fuck. Oh. And uh, let's take some measurements here. So, got this guy. I mean, the biggest thing is where the bolts are across and how big the bolts are themselves. Like the holes that I have to work with. They're exactly half inch by half inch. And that's actually eight inches across. So bolt to bolt is eight inches. Oops, I gotta take a left. All right, all right, all right, all right. Calm your titties. Oh, this is Fendi. This is Austin's cat. Wanna say hi to, to the fam? Sure. This is Austin. Hi. <laughs> He's the one who hooked me up with the black G, so. <laughs> and we are gonna go to Menards and hopefully make some cool shit. Hopefully. I don't know how it's gonna work. I only have half the schematic, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the fancy boots, but in a row. <laughs> Is that your toes? Oh my god! High fashion. <laughs> I feel like a parent or always when I pick you up, you always smile at me. Well, we initially had three and a half hours for. Now, now we have like 30 minutes. The legs part. What are we making the legs out of? Uh, I'm hoping some kind of piping, like, you know, like fence piping. Okay. But I don't know. I don't know. I, I think wood would be easiest. I know, but I want it to be collapsible. Oof. You know, it needs to fold in on Oof. itself. Because it needs to be in the back of my car. Okay. It might be too complicated for what I think we can do with this. Our great minds together. Because I wanted to make like a telescoping thing, pull in the center, so you can collapse it on even further and set the height with like pins. Holes, <laughs> right? <laughs> I I, no, I know, I know, I know, I know. It looks fucked up. It, it, no, I, it looks better in up here. <laughs> I did an MS Paint of this before I got here. MS so it looks better than this shit. <laughs> Look at this fucking guy. <laughs> I gotta get. You're this. my number one fan, girl. Dude, telescoping. It doesn't have to be that way. Telescoping. Okay. How about this? How about like how we have our IV poles with the poles out of pole? Exactly. It's a tight. Yeah. That exactly. Bolt. Like a bolt. Exactly. Yes, okay. That's what I mean. Yeah. All I have right now is a Dremel. That's all I have. Oh, I have drill saws, all that. So we could do. We, we could do this. We just can't weld. Oh, uh, say big money at Menards. They actually don't have Menards where I'm from. What? Yeah. Not everyone has Menards. They only have Lowe's and Home Depot. <sighs> This is a hidden gem. I don't really like having a huge ass camera though. I miss having a small like point and shoot. Do people look at you in public like the fuck is this kid doing? That's why I haven't vlogged in public in forever because I'm fucking embarrassed. Especially just... up here, people are like, what are them compute machines in your hand? Yeah. <laughs> what is that internet device? <laughs> look at this. Does that actually count you? You got lights. 
Never. <laughs> I don't know, this might be an interesting thing for a lot of people. It's very well lit. Oh man, this is heavy as shit. Yeah. But if you get a you bigger this, one, you do this and, and, and like a, yeah, and yeah. That's like the straight up lead pipe from Max Payne. <laughs> we are going to use the umbrella base for like the canopies base. and yeah. awnings and stuff. That's a great idea. Oh, we just touched hands. Did you feel it? <laughs> Have you ever been walking down the street with your best bro? And while you're walking, you accidentally touch hands? You think to yourself, that was weird, but I'm not gay. You are. You are gay. When I pose this, I'm sure the cops will be like, why didn't you just buy a freaking Target stand, you idiot? <laughs> Which is, I'd be like, this conversation. well... It's right here, how like, the original idea was like a tripod design like this, but the lace could fold up, and there would be pins that you drive in. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know how that would hold up under any kind of stress. Probably not good. That's the thing, I don't want to use weights. I want to just have it stand by its own. By its own? And seasonal candy. Nuts and bolts. Ooh, wait, where's the candy? Top left. Oh, maybe you should check that out after, if not anything else. So I didn't think of that part. It, this looked good in my mind, but if we shoot like the sides of it, it'll start to rotate on the. So maybe we should do that, your idea of that that big pipe in the center. The T. The T pipe. Can we go back to the idea. Are you sure this is cheaper than just fucking buying a stand? I think I might. I don't know. I think it, I, now that I'm putting, now I'm doing the math in my head. I think it's actually cheaper to buy a freaking stand. Or we could just try to drill through this 500 AR steel. If I have a center hole, we can buy stands for that. Yeah, let's go see how much a drill bit is. You should just label the video arts and crafts. It's pretty much that now, except we're not even crafting anything. Should we scratch this idea for later? Yeah, because if I was going with this chain design, I know we get to the range, we shoot it once, we shoot it in the shoulder, and it starts to turn yeah, or fall the, off. Yeah, and the whole thing doesn't work. We can also use black steel. Yeah, what's the difference with that? What's it's black. <laughs> black. It's like black G, dude. Oh, it's more expensive. You gotta pay more for the black G, though. Oh. Wow, it's like literally tw more than twice as much. You know what makes bronze? I know you do because of the RuneScape. That's all right. That's, I mean, honestly. Almost perfect. We don't even have to telescope it. Yeah, if we can get it just that. Yeah, and then we do the T design on top here. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, and then, and then the plate is mounted onto this. Yes. What's the difference between black and galvanized? It's black. <laughs> We got we got to go back to the drawing board. This one, yeah. this is gonna yeah. Man, this is way more complicated than we thought it was gonna be. PVC, say you didn't have all your joints and stuff too that we could use. Yeah, yeah, it's, like it's, we could literally Lego it together. Yeah, I think that might be good too. Oh man, that is a nasty wind. This good thing about North Dakota is it's always goddamn windy. We didn't take any steps forward, but we didn't take any steps backwards. That's a lot of brainstorming that we did. Like, the PVC would be a good alternative, too. Yeah. Easy to drill. Easy to just get parts for. Yeah. Say that bottom pipe that has the potential to get shot. Yes! You can just replace that pipe. <gasps> oh, that's a good idea. Oh, but another issue with PVC is the weight. As well if you get, like, a thick base. A like, thick base. Scope it up. Yeah. When we go back to my house, let's just look at my garage quick. What we have for stuff, yeah. I'm, there was a high chance I might have something. <sighs> You just have a, a target stand, like, oh, oh my god! <laughs> Bought mine on a legal website, in a legal manner. No, this does change, actually, my whole, like, perception on the stand now. And why each time these chains, it's always double linked to something, not single linked. Does it feel nice? Like, no, it... it actually feels weird. My toes get fatigued. This pole's not connected to anything anyway. Oh, yeah, it's not. And that's a good height, too, though. So there's a pole. There's, there's metal beams there. Yeah. Like that, like, T thing? Yeah. We could get a basketball hoop and just hang big chains from that. She want? <laughs> I know, but that's too fucking heavy, dude. It's a stand. You're strong. You lift weights. I don't want to lift that. Alright, so what did we learn? Uh, this whole thing is gonna be fucking shitty and not work, basically. Instead of using chains for these, and we're just gonna drill a hole through here and here and put just a bolt will be the mounting service, whatever piping. Because we do want to make this thing. I don't want to just buy it, but if it's like too expensive, I might just have to. And uh, if we can, we'll just drill a center hole here instead of having these two. Still working on the stand idea. I still want something collapsible, and just easy to move around. I mean, we were thinking about even just doing PVC piping because there's like a lot of fixtures for it. I don't know how stable it's gonna be though, because this thing is kind of heavy. We're running like 25 pounds or so. Um, so it's like, uh, I don't know. If you have any ideas, let me know down in the comments. <laughs> Always remember, say tactically, kawaii. Dang.